What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So talk about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here today. Before I get into everything, I just want to say that this is my last Nope video before you'll get a review. I'm seeing the movie on Tuesday, the 19th. The embargo lifts the next day on the 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern. I think the actual social social media embargo lifts the night prior on the 18th as well so you'll see social reactions because there's people who have already seen it but i myself am seeing it on the 19th so if you follow me on twitter you'll see my social media reaction and everything but you aren't going to get like a full-fledged review from me on this channel until the next day on the 20th when the embargo actually lifts for those in-depth discussions about the movie and i'll try to do other things with the movie even after but i just want to say that yes my review will be next week if you're someone who's been watching all my note videos and you're excited for my review it'll be here on wednesday so just to jump into what i want to talk about here these recent comments that came out from this sit down or interview i guess that went on between daniel kalua and jordan peele for essence magazine where they were just talking about or having a conversation about how thankful he is for Jordan Peele and at, at, and just giving praise to Peele's a visual style, not visual style, but just his his overall skill set. He stated that I feel like you have expanded horror already and now you're doing it again, giving it scale and epicness. And he also went on to then express gratitude to Peel for allowing him to be in his movies and being put in the center of these types of films he grew up loving. I'm reading this from SlashFilm.com. Uh, and then Peel responded back by acknowledging the great responsibility that comes with his new reputation and explained that the storytelling change seen in Nope is a direct reflection of that responsibility. He also made some comments, this being Jordan Peele. Remind, reminding himself that the movie had to be about black joy as well while he was pinning this he stated that it's so tricky being considered in the vanguard of black horror because obviously black horror is so very real and it's hard to do it in a way that's not not re-traumatizing and sad pill said to kaluuya, kaluuya i was going into my third horror film starring black leads and somewhere in the process i realized that the movie had to be about black joy as well in order to fit what the world needs at this moment the joy is shown through Kaluya and co-star Kiki Palmer's characters, OJ and Emerald Haywood, black sibling ranchers that also provide their services as horse trainers to Hollywood. That part of why there's a sort of spectrum of ton ton tonality of genre in here because I wanted to give the whole I wanted to give the horror, but I also want to give our characters agency and adventure and hope and joy and fun that they deserve. So honestly. Honestly, the mentions of black joy from him, I, I, I get where he's coming from in the sense that I guess when you go back and rewatch Get Out and Us, it is a little bit more of a visceral experience, maybe to some people who watch that um, and are in a certain mindset. Me speaking, me speaking for my own self as a black person, uh, I see where he's coming from with that in mind to display you know something that's a little bit lighthearted between the characters we're following and having these moments even though there's something terrible going on they're still living life we're going to get to see these characters still be human have these sweet moments I, it, is, it appears like because I, I see that stretched throughout a lot of the footage that keeps coming out behind the scenes trailer stuff some of the scenery and interactions we have between Kaluuya's character and K Kiki Palmer's character it seems like there's definitely going to be a lot of humor in this film, I assume it's coming to come mostly from Palmer, who's trying to reconnect with her brother, and she's going to be the thing that keeps you grounded and it keeps you laughing, most likely. I just hope that it's not done to the point where, you know, again, it's unbalanced with the horror. Uh, he's done a good job so far at balancing and weaving in humor and horror at the just the right amount. I know some people think that the guy, the friend of... Uh, the friend of Chris and Get Out, I, th I know some people think he was a, a bit much. The TSA guy, I still don't think that was over the top or anything. If he had been someone who was there with them during that, no doubt. Having him there dropping stuff like that during scenes of that, that might have been a bit much. But all in all, I think the, the effectiveness came from the fact that he wasn't there. He was off somewhere else making comments like that, having the audience laugh. So we'll see what happens with the lighthearted in this aspect of it. I do want to also talk about how i think that this movie is gonna again address certain things with hollywood and addressing how he has made comments about the specialization of black people is being addressed too so now real real realizing because i always forgot this they do provide services to hollywood with these horse horses 
are people not are they not getting credit for this like are they being thrown to the wayside or they feel like they're not getting enough credit and that's why kiki's character who has this idea that maybe they aren't getting the credit they deserve after the services they provide for these movies and these horses they're not getting the same credit just like their grand great great grandfather didn't get the credit he should be getting for being on that motion capture of the black man riding on a horse so in her head she tries to talk to her brother about this otherworldly phenomenon going on that they should capture put out on the internet do something about it to garner attention for themselves so at least in some fashion they will be known there could be something going on where they have signed an agreement that they are okay with not getting any recognition because of the money being afforded to them but more in a moral standpoint emerald isn't okay with it she's okay with yes continuing to take the money but she also wants that exposure she wants them to be known she wants them to have recognition she doesn't want to be forgotten she doesn't want their services to be remembered and nobody remember who provided the services so the ufo is an opportunity to have that exposure chase that spectacle find yourself worth in that which is probably the problem here and thing the thing they're trying to commentate on because a lot of stuff that goes on today really does speak to that how a lot of us will chase instagram followers and i talked about this in my other video chasing tiktok followers chasing youtube subscribers using myself as an example since i'm a youtuber all these different things twitter followers all these different things you box yourself into maybe place too much of your own self-worth into creating your own spectacle when you should really just take comfort in your life that you have right now not saying that the situation is is something that's good or bad but don't try to overstretch yourself to the point where you think you want something you get it you realize no you don't want that you don't want that i think that's really something that's going to happen here after first again re re realizing because i always forget it that they do provide services to hollywood so maybe they feel they aren't getting the credit they deserve and that's why they want to expose this ufo phenomenon we'll see what happens i'm sure it's going to be very compelling and thought-provoking let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video